Hey guys, I wanted to put together a quick video explaining the accuracy or inaccuracy of back tests when it comes to running them on NinjaTrader 8. So the big question, are back tests accurate in NinjaTrader? Yes, they are if you're running regular minute bars, whether you're running a one minute bar, two minute, five minute, 15, 30, 60 minutes, as long as that bar is reliant on OHLC, what is that? Open, high, low, and close price. If those prices are unchanging by the bar, then the back test will be relatively very accurate. If you run that back test against the market replay, you'll see that it's almost identical, okay? It's gonna have obviously a little bit of differences, but it's gonna be almost identical. However, if you're using a Renko bar, a Hekin Ashi bar, or any bar that is not uh, reliant on consistent OHLC data, open, high, low, or close data, then the numbers are gonna be completely skewed in the back test's favor. So it's going to look very, very good on the back test, but in reality, it's going to be terrible, okay? Because that's, in essence, those type of bars are like Renko and Heiken Ashi, they're reliant on averages, and some of them will change the actual open price, for example. If that's going to change, then yes, everything is going to be skewed, so the back test would be inaccurate. So when you're running any type of a back test, you want to make sure that you're using regular minute bars. In my systems, um, the last uh, system that I've developed is Price Action Harvester Automated. I use the one minute bar. The back tests are very accurate. Um, and so when you run those, you're going to see that when you compare it against the market replay, it's going to be very accurate. Those that work with Renko bars or Heiken Ashi, they'll say, hey, don't use the back test. Sometimes they'll say this. They'll say, don't use the back test. Instead, just rely on the market replay. Well, that's, that's good. That's actually good advice. But the truth of the matter is you can't really run a legitimate back test using market replay because you want to go back at least a couple of years for that strategy to hold any value. If we're going to invest into a strategy, we want to know that that strategy has been back tested properly for at least you know, a couple of years, at least. If it hasn't done so, then it's, you know, maybe it may be investable, it may not be investable, okay? Um, so, you know, when you're running market replay, it, it'll take forever to run a, a back test for two years. That's gonna take a very, very long time. It's gonna be a very cumbersome process. And so if you're gonna be serious about trading, you definitely wanna make sure that whatever bars, whatever strategy that you're running, has the regular minute bar, a regular minute bar, whether it's one, five, 10, 15, 60 minutes, whatever it is, it's just lots of regular minute bar that relies on OHLC, open, high, low, and close price, okay? I'm gonna quickly demonstrate for you what I mean by that, and we're gonna talk about here in this video, three different types of bars. We're gonna talk about the regular minute bar, Renko bar, and Heiken Ashi, okay? We'll go in that order. What I have here on the chart is, in fact, a, a regular one-minute bar, and what I've loaded is the basic strategy that comes with NinjaTrader, okay? Um, so the strategy that I loaded is the sample MA crossover 1025. And what this strategy does is, if the small crosses, crosses over the big, so if the 10 uh, moving average crosses over the 25 moving average, then it goes long. If the 25 crosses below the 10, then it goes short. Okay, so if it was already in a long position, it would close the long position automatically and, and go short instead if it crossed below the 25, crossed below the 10. Okay, very, very basic rudimentary strategy. I would not advise anybody to trade based on this, but um, let's just for the sake of this demonstration see what the results would be like, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the back test. In fact, let me show you the data series first so we can see we've loaded 30 days. This is a one minute bar, okay? Type minute value one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's loaded correctly and run it for you. And we're gonna see that the results are over the last 30 days, 1,987, excluding slippage, excluding commission, et cetera. The results are pretty poor uh, as you would expect them to be using a very, very basic strategy like this. Um, and, but that, that's what it is. So now let's compare this to a Renko bar. As I mentioned, we're gonna change it. Okay, so instead of the minute bar, let's load a Renko bar. And then for the brick size, let's use something more significant like five. Let's load 30 days, not three. And we're gonna see a very, very different picture now. Okay, 10,200 with a profit factor of 144, okay. Um, you know, 
somebody might get very excited by looking at this number, by, by looking at this back test, but in reality, this is completely skewed. This back test is completely skewed. Again, why? Because we use Rango bars and not the regular minute bar. The regular minute bar was in fact accurate. This, the Renko bar, is completely inaccurate, okay? Here's another example. Let's go and load the final example I wanted to show, uh, and that is the Heikenashi bar, okay? Uh, different people pronounce that differently. That's how I pronounce it. Let's say it's the five minutes, okay, on the Heikenashi, the type of bar is Heikenashi. There you go. And we're going to apply that. We're going to look even smarter now, okay? Um, 5,200, but that is not 30 days, right? I probably missed that. Correct. That's five days. So let's load 30 days. Okay. And 22,300 with a profit factor of 239. My gosh. Okay. Somebody might say, where is Lambo? Okay. But <laughs> in reality, this is completely skewed. All right. Do not rely on this. It is completely wrong. Okay. Again, why? Because we use Heike Nashi. Let's go back to the original correct um, a type of bar to use, which is your regular minute bar. Okay, let's load the one minute. Let's make sure it's 30 days this time. Apply. I like the Heikenashi, which was originally five. I changed it back to 30. Let's go ahead and see the, the actual numbers. 1987.50. Uh, of course, it's uh, discounting slippage. It's discounting uh, commissions. But that's what have been over the past 30 days on this very, very basic um, strategy that I don't advise anybody to use. So I hope this clarifies if a back test works or not. And this is, by the way, the case for any platform that I've ever come across. It's not just NinjaTrader. If that platform for back tests is relying on historical data, that's uh, OHLC, okay, open, high, low, and close, um, then the only way to get an accurate back test would be to use a regular minute bar. Hope this has been helpful. Happy trading and God bless.